on my YouTube channel. I hope you like my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're going to read How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Don't forget, if you have the book at home, read on with me. Every who, Dan and Whoville, liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one knows quite the reason. Could be his head wasn't screwed on so tight. Could be perhaps her, his shoes are too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. How's that? But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's. Staring down from his cave with a sour glinchy frown. the warm lighted windows below at their town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath the was busy now hanging mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow's Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers, nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow who knew all the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys. And then oh the noise, oh the noise, 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 noise. The one thing he hated, the noise, the noise, noise. Then the Who's young and old would sit down to a feast. They'd and feast and feast and they feast, feast, feast. They would feast on who pudding and rare who beast. Which was something the Grinch couldn't stand at the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with the Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing. And they'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas singing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years, I put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? And he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. <coughs> I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed at his throat. And he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. Then he chuckled and chuckled. What's a great Grinchy trick with his coat and his hat. He looked just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around. But since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max, then he took some red thread, and he tied the big horn to the top of his head. I wonder how that's gonna look. Then he loaded some bags and some empty old sacks. On a round shankle sleigh, he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, giddy up. And the sleigh started down towards the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to his first little house on one square, this is stop number one, the old Grinchy Claws hissed. 
and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. And then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, where little who's stuck it. with a smile most unpleasant. He's up to something. And the whole room he took. Every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates and drums. Checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn and plums. Then he stuffed them in a bag and the Grinch very nimble stuffed all the bags up but the chimney. Then he slunk into the ice box. He took the hoof feast took the hoop pudding, he took the roast beef, he cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash, where that Grinch even took their last can of hoop hash. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove, then he heard a small coo, like a coo of a dove. He turned around fast, he saw the small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this little who daughter who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She, start, she stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking your Christmas tree? Why? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lie. They thought it up quick. Oh, my sweet little tot. The fake Santa Claus light. There's a tree, there's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop to fix and I'll fix it up there and then bring it back here. And it's fit for the child. Then he patted her head and he got her a cold drink of water and sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou went to bed with the cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. <laughs> Then the last thing he took was the log for the fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On the walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And one speck of food that he left in the house wasn't a crumb or even a small mouse. Then he did the same thing for the other who houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other who houses. It was quarter past dawn, all the who's still abed. All the who's still a snooze. When he packed off his sled, he packed it with their presents, the ribbons and wrappings, the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings and trappings. Three thousand feet up, the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with a load to the tip top to dump it. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the who's down in Hoover will cry, boo hey That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused and the Grinch put his hand to, the, to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow, started in low and started to grow. But it wasn't sad. Why, this sounds very merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch whooped his eyes. Then he shook. What was a shocking surprise? Every Who down at Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or another, it came just the same. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they sat. They say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes each day. And the minute he heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beef.